Hey Aries, welcome to the Illus Illuminator. Going to do the he said she said spread. So this will include you and whoever you are dealing with. So let's see what the messages are for you from the 9th of December till the 16th of December. What are the messages you have for Aries? What are the messages for Aries? Let's see. Whoop. Okay, I've got the Hermit in the reverse in your past energy. So, seems like you've been isolating yourself, um, very withdrawn, maybe from your partner, relationship, or just in general. But with the Hermit in the reverse, also the star card in the reverse so there is something that you've lost hope in um and therefore you've maybe retreated yourself and in order to think things through but this is not a the right way of retreating yourself and looking to what has happened to the past this is more not in a way that you can this is more like isolation and feeling like a loss of hope. And you could also be dealing with a um, Virgo individual or also a Aquarius individual, but someone that you've had, you've lost a lot of hope in, in a situation. You're not seeing things getting better actually with this particular person. So you've seems like you've closed doors on on people so let's see the person that you were dealing with what's their past energy what's the past energy okay they have the ten of pentacles and the four of cups in the reverse in their past energy so they the person that you were dealing with has came to the realization that they have miss an opportunity to have a foundation with you to have a commitment with you and this person could also be already in a commitment and therefore rejecting an offer from you and that could have made you lost hope in a situation is what i'm seeing so let's see what your current energy is current energy for every you have the page of wands so this is your energy as well uh wanting to start over wanting to go into a new direction a you could have been uh, messaging with someone uh, that is also maybe an aries sagittarius or a leo individual but you you are ready to go into a new direction and find something new to to explore actually so you you're trying to leave the past situation behind Leave it for what it is. And so let's see what else is going on for the person that you are dealing with. What's their present energy? What's the present energy of the situation? The Four of Pentacles. So the person that you are dealing with is right now at the moment very withdrawn they're withholding a lot of information that are not expressing their emotions or their feelings towards you and they may have even uh, cut out the communication or been lying about uh, about their foundation maybe so that could be related to this ten of pentacles that they are in a in another commitment and they are not opening up about it but you could have felt that intuitively maybe already and maybe therefore you're losing hope in the situation also you could have been dealing with a um, gemini libra or an aquarius individual but the person that you are dealing with is blocking off the communication at the moment they're being very emotionally detached from you and Especially together with the Four of Pentacles, that is someone that is very, very stubborn and does not see things from another point of view as well. So let's see what your blockage is, Aries. What's the blockage for Aries? 
you have the nine of cups as a blockage so it means that you were really wishing um for this person to open up emotionally so they're not opening up emotionally you could be also with the nine of cups you could be uh dealing with someone that is as i was saying holding a lot of emotions to themselves not opening up and being happy about the fact that they are not opening up since they also have the four of pentacles and the king of swords in the reverse so there's something that you really truly wanted from your heart and it's not um it's not granted for you and that's like your blockage right now it could be also someone that is um that is over drinking has a drinking problem as well and that could be the problem but most likely the problem is that they are just holding all the information and all the emotions to themselves as what i'm seeing here so let's see what's their blockage what's the blockage for the person that aries is dealing with so they could be partying too much maybe yeah see the devil with the two of wands so their blockage is that they're choosing to stay stuck they're choosing to stay um in a karmic relationship as well could be but most likely they could have a a drinking problem or addictions or uh, an obsessive obsessive problem that they are not wanting to deal with they are refusing to see to see what they are refusing to see the truth about the situation and they rather choose the, the devil. <laughs> That's exactly what it seems. They rather choose the devil side than to, to unstuck themselves from a situation that is bondaging them and is not good for their health or for any situation in this scenario. So they could be also rather choosing to to be involved in a third party situation as well with that devil card so but most likely they could be having a lot of addictions sexual addictions could also be or just drinking addictions let's see your hopes for aries what are the hopes for aries You have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So you're hoping for a truthful communication. You're hoping to hear the truth, uh, which I was already saying there is, this person is uh, withholding a truth and they're not coming forward with facts or with, um, with a decision that they're not making. And you're hoping for that decision to be, to be taken and for that person to make logic decisions. Uh, for both themselves, for you and themselves, actually, I feel. And you're also hoping to let go of this of this air sign. Or you could be hoping for that person that is dealing with a, maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, to let go of that person as well uh, in your hopes. So that could be... Let's see. But I feel that, that that is like the third party, that Queen of Swords is the third party that you're hoping that that person would uh, ditch and let go of that person, but also come truthfully towards you and explain the truth about the situation that is at hand. So let's see. What are the hopes for the person that Aries is dealing with? What are the hopes? that Aries is dealing with. Ooh. Okay. So they have the sun in the reverse and the three of cups in the reverse. It's funny because that means that, that they are hoping for the truth about the third party not to come out. As simply as that. While you just know better about the situation. So... All they're trying to do is keep that third party a secret or the fact that they're going out a secret or that they're mingling with with other people all they're trying to do is keep that in a dark and not to to that for not come to the light 
So that is that is the person you are dealing with, Aries. So let's see how you view this person in the past. How you view this person in the past. How does Aries view this person in the past? The lovers in the reverse. So if there was, as I was saying, someone else in the picture, you saw that person breaking off the connection with you, breaking off a bond, breaking off a commitment, something that was very, like something that could be very, very good for for both of you. And also with the lovers of card in the reverse, someone that was still dragging their feet and not making any decision to between you or and someone else or even a third like a third person as well fourth person could also be so you saw that person as not um and also you could have felt that this person was only out to to have sex with you and not putting in energy to to make this union come together. So they were not that they did not make the right decision. So let's see. How that person viewed you in the past. How that person viewed Aries in the past, please. The hangman in the reverse. So see you 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 were waiting uh for this person to make a decision. Uh this person was making you making you wait for that decision and eventually you did take the reins of your own life and just quit that person and just unstuck yourself from the situation because you were not longer in a place that you wanted to wait for that person to make the decision so you made the decision for yourself to unstuck yourself from the situation so that's what they are feeling when with the seven of swords they you you might not even had told them that you're not even waiting you just up and left them which is a very good thing to do in this scenario though so they feel that you did not tell them um your plans about it you just you just up and leave so let's see how you view this person now aries how you view this person now you have the strength card, so you are really holding yourself strong, I feel, to not get back in contact with this person or try to stay strong in not falling back in any sexual activities, maybe, uh, especially with that devil card there. So this person could, could maybe ask you to to have more um, contact with you and you're trying to hold strong uh, against this person. You are seeing this person as well that you may still have a very strong connection with and this person may have a very strong connection with you too, but their behaviors are not, are not right. So I feel that you are staying strong in your power right now to not fall back into whatever they are saying or like you're you're doing your best to not believe their lies that's that's what i'm getting with that straight card so let's see how this person views you and it could also be a leo individual wow okay that is whoa i told you that both were feeling the same Look at that. They're mirroring now each other, which I said before. You both are seeing each other as holding very, very strong feelings toward each other. It's like magnetic and... But you both know that you need to calm yourself down and, and, and not give in to any seduction or temptation because things are still a bit in a limbo so that is that is a funny thing so as i said this could be also a leo but i feel a very strong 
passionate attraction you have with this person, both of you. So let's see, what's the doubts and fears for Aries? Doubts and fears for Aries. Yeah, see the Three of Cups, the Moon card, the Knight of Cups. So you are fearing with this Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. And therefore you are trying to stay strong against this person to not give in. And it's because you you fear that this person is a player and is showing their emotions to to everyone in, in order to get them and are just are just a charmer and that there is a third party and also that when they go out you don't trust them you feel that they are always out there to mingle and get to know new people and 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 also that there could be some drinking problems as well i feel especially with that devil card but this this person you don't you don't trust them when they come forward with their emotions because you have the feeling that other people that that this person is also pursuing other people besides you so you're not trusting them coming forward with 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 their true emotions you feel that they are hiding a lot of things a lot of secrets that there are other people involved and that could be the that could have been the case that that they were not making any decisions to move forward with you. As if they were waiting for someone else to make a decision before they would give in to you. So that's like the kind of scenario that I'm feeling right now. So let's see what's their present house of fear. It would be funny if the moon card came out. Present house of fears. For the person that Aries is dealing with, please. The Eight of Cups in the reversed. Hmm. And the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And I got the Page of Swords in the reverse here too. So definitely this person could fear the fact that you would find out that there is someone coming back, an ex coming back from the past um is what i'm feeling here and there could have been a lot of gossip around it or you could have maybe found it out already through social media and they're they are afraid that you are going to slap that in, the, in their face actually and also again they are also again still fearing to to express their emotions to to accept your cup actually because in order that if you would find out that they were lying or that they were still seeing someone else or anything like that you you would up and leave them so that they, they are not opening up their heart either to you and they are afraid to show their emotions and they're even afraid to come back hmm. let's see what else but they could also be afraid that I feel that this person is not coming forward because they're just afraid that you are not going to accept them. That you are going to reject it as well. So they, they, are, they feel stuck themselves too with that hangman. It, it, this, this also applies for them. They feel stuck. They don't know whether they should come back or not or whether they should rekindle this or, or not. So... And that's why they, they're trying to stay strong with it. And trying to stay strong and not opening up. They're, they're holding their tongue. They're holding something that they truly want to express towards you. They're not expressing it. 
and that, that's why they might just go and and drink and and fall into seduction or or any addictions just to not express their emotions there's a really a need for expressing their emotions but they're not they're not doing so this could also be that they only feel like a very sexual attraction with you but it could be like no emotions involved as well could go either either way actually so let's see outside influences for you yeah you have the knight of pentacles and the justice so again as i was saying this person kept you stuck and not making any decision about the future you you feel that they have done you injustice that they've done you wrong and that they um that's why they need to come forward and express whatever has happened in the past so as well they, they owe you an apology for making you stuck and making you wait with the knight of pentacles in the reverse there were no there was no future it was like you both were in a standstill and you you feel as that is that is that has been an injustice towards you because you've been waiting and waiting for so long and having a lot of inner conflicts about it like should i go should i stay is really like in the limbo here so let's see their outside influences and there could also be a libra or a capricorn Taurus or virgo involved also five of pentacles and the world card and the eight of pentacles reverse for so for them as outside influences is um you guys were probably arguing a lot uh because both of you have the five of wands here so there could have been a lot of competition as well around it as as i was saying as well with that third party situation and also that you as i was saying you stopped putting in any energy and effort into it you closed the door without it without a closure as i told in the beginning you up and left and did not put any energy and effort in it and both of you left the situation unresolved and that's why it's not balanced it, the, something is missing So you guys could not be even communicating at the moment. It's as I was also saying, it's 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 going round and around in circles. There is no like you can't come together and resolve the problem normally. It's like every time you guys come together, it's like poof. It, it 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 turns out in an argument and a fight, and it's because you feel that you've been waiting for too long with no results or whatsoever. So let's see what you don't see coming, Aries. What you don't see coming. So future energies for Aries. Woo. Okay. You've got the five of cups and the six of pentacles in the reverse and the page of swords so yeah you definitely going to find out more through social media and the internet uh, about why this whole person is holding a lot of information this person is being very mysterious and they've been giving their their time to someone else and you're going to find out and you're going to cut your losses um, for sure with that five of cups. So you're going to feel feel a loss with this person and you you kind of get, are going to come to a point where you're going to accept it. Because you you're going to figure out that this person has someone else on the side and with the two of swords is it's also saying that this person is still not going to make the decision to open up towards you they're they're still going to be in stalemate and not making any decisions
and you're not gonna you're not gonna move forward within a relationship that is or whatever it is when you know that you're not getting back what you put out so you you're gonna cut your losses with this let's see what is the future energy of the person that you are be they have also the six of swords so they are also going to detach themselves um emotionally and physically to to think everything through to balance their thoughts out to think about about this cycle and remove themselves from you as well yeah because they're still going to be juggling they're they're still not going to make a decision between you to you and someone else so the best possible option that they can do is just remove themselves mentally and physically so that they can balance their their emotions their, their feelings and also yeah that is um let's see what your advice is going to be What's the advice for Aries? See, the advice is the five of pentacles. Cut your losses and it's better to move on. They're, they are going to move on as well to calmer waters. See, you have the magician and the four of swords. So it's better to cut off and cut your losses with this particular person because this person is already limiting you in... Uh, in this relationship they're not giving you what you deserve because you still have the six of pentacles in the reverse so there is no and 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 the next step would be the seven of pentacles and you again waiting going back to the circle again and doing it over and over so with the magician in the reverse as i was saying this person is manipulating the truth they're not coming forward they have a lot of secrets that they're withholding from you and also you are not going to be able to manifest this relationship or or get to peace with this particular person and you also have the four of swords so it's for you as i was saying it's not the right way of withdrawing yourself because you're not thinking everything through you are you're mentally you're not balanced you are not having a rest and a peace of mind so you need to withdraw yourself but in a good way where you're going to think everything through and heal from the three of swords that this person caused with another party so that is and also you do have the ace of swords here so which is talking about cutting that person off and get to new clarity about the situation as well so let's see what else is your advice, Aries. Advice for Aries. God of the arts. The artist within you is about to emerge. So if there is a um, creative side or you are working on some a creative project, you are going to um, to succeed in that. So let's see what else is the You have goddess of psychic protection. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. So don't co-create against um, against this. And also with this communication, angel of communication, communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to tell how it is. So communication is, is really key. Uh, and that's what you also, that's what's blocking you as well. So it's clearly that you need to communicate especially with that ace of sword that you're not gonna deal with it any longer that is definitely something and
Don't stay stuck in that situation. If it's not, not bringing you anything good in return and this person is not opening up any emotionally or even speaking the truth, then it's best that you speak the truth towards them and cut your losers. Let's see. What's the numerology card for Aries, please? You have effort, so maybe it's for you to put some effort in the communication and communicate clearly how how you felt during this whole cycle. And because I was also saying, I feel that you just up and left without speaking your truth about the, to, towards this person. You're both holding your tongue towards one another, showing great strength to to not do it. You have again music and also time out. So take a time out, as I was saying, to think about what you want to say and make sure that you communicate it like at the end of the week or so. And you also have music, so withdraw yourself and listen some music so you can heal from from that three of swords actually that this person has caused you. Oh, wait. That's not the one I wanted to use. Let's see what the goddess card needs to tell you. What are the messages for Aries? You have again the arts. Express yourself through creative acti uh, activities. So there is a lot of creativity within you that you um, that you are manifesting, that you are going to create, and that looks good. That looks very good. Here it is, endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. So it's really time for you to speak your truth and, and start over. And wow, you do have the expect a miracle card. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Just like this protection card that is saying that you are spiritually protected and your psychic uh, ability and your intuition is also protected. protected. So there is a miracle that is coming your way and that could be due to to your creative side. So something with, when it comes to your career or hobbies or something that you are going to manifest in that area. It could be due to music. Uh, maybe you are in um, creating music could be also like that. So yes, that was your reading, dear Aries. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you next week.